Hey everybody, Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman and today I'm going to do another video on the Garmin Tactics 7 Pro with ballistics and today I'm going to go through the controls. That's what I'm going to do right now so stay tuned. Okay everybody, so I'm going to show you how to add and remove controls. I'm going to show you what all different all the different controls functions that you have with the watch that you can add and remove. I'll show you how to do that as well. So we're going to start by holding the light button and pressing it. There you go. So now it comes up. These are called your controls. And you can scroll around to all the different ones. So if I press and hold the menu button, it's going to go to add controls. So if I hit enter, I've got airplane mode, which is select it enable or disable airplane mode to turn off all wireless communications and go down to alarm clock that's to select to add or edit an alarm alternative time zones that's to select to view the current time of day and additional time zones altimeter select to open the altimeter screen assistance that is select to send an assistance request so you're basically requesting assistance for help for something. You got backlight, which is select to adjust the screen brightness. You got barometer, select to open the barometer screen. That'll give you what the weather's going to be doing or currently doing. Broadcast heart rate, select to turn on heart rate broadcasting to a paired device, like your phone or some other device. Then you got the compass. That's select to open the compass screen. Yeah, we all know what that is. Direct to. Select to search for an airport by its identifier. View the nearest waypoints or view your favorite airport. So basically that's if you're a pilot, you'll use direct to. Okay, this is the kill switch. The kill switch is to select to quickly remove all saved user data and reset all settings to factory default values. Um, this will give you 10 seconds to do that. Um, once you activate it, you got, it'll count down 10 seconds. You just press a button to stop it or you just let it proceed and it will delete everything. Next one is lock device. Select to lock the buttons and the touchscreen to prevent inadvertent presses and swipes. Music controls. Select to control music playback on your watch or phone. Okay, phone. Select to enable or disable Bluetooth technology and your connection to your paired phone. Next one is the stopwatch. And that's select to start the stopwatch. So it's just a stopwatch. Sunrise and sunset. That's uh, you select to view the sunrise, sunset, and twilight times. Select to sync your watch with your paired phone. Time sync. Select to sync your watch with the time on your phone or using satellites. And then you got Wi-Fi. That's select to enable or disable Wi-Fi communications. So now if I if I want any of those, I just hit the plus button. So let's say I want to put Wi-Fi in there. So Wi-Fi is not in there now. And if I go up to here, there it is right there. That's the last one that I entered there. So the ones that I have on my phone now is applied ballistics. I have this, the timers because I use that in matches to time myself. The power off. The battery saver. When I put on battery saver, it shuts off all GPS and stuff like that to get the most out of your battery. Like right now, it's at 12 days. If I turn that on, look, it goes right to 41 days. So the wallet, I don't have that enabled, but you can use your wallet here. You can put credit cards in and uh, pay for items at a retailer. I have clocks and I just uh, select the open clocks app to set an alarm timer or stopwatch, etc. Um, so basically the timer one that I have over there is just a shortcut to the clocks. And then save location, I just press this button here and it will save my location. So I press that and it's waiting for GPS and then it'll save the location, give me the longitude and latitude of where I'm at, but I don't want to do that right now. so. And then I have find my phone. So if I want to find my phone, I just press the start button and it'll start uh, ringing my phone. Do not disturb. Select enable or disable do not disturb mode to dim the screen and disable alerts and notifications. For example, you can use this mode while watching a movie. That way it won't beep or 
anything like that. Then you got your flashlight. Here you can uh, adjust the intensity of your flashlight brightness, or you can go to the green. I always leave mine on the third. I hit the back button. Use this to enable and disable the touch screen. Sleep mode basically from 10 o'clock at night to six o'clock in the morning, it will not disturb you. You can uh, customize that as well. And then night vision off, this turns off. I'll select to reduce backlight intensity for compatibility with night vision goggles and disable the wrist heart rate monitor. It does that, I believe, because there's a light in the back there that is green and could give away your location. Stealth mode is off. You can select to enable or disable stealth mode to turn off wireless communications and pre prevent the storage and sharing of your GPS location. If you're in the military and you're heading to HQ or something and uh, they don't allow you to wear a smartwatch, you can just uh, put stealth mode on, then you'll be good to go. And then of course you got Wi-Fi enabled, which I, I can disable it with that too, but I don't really want Wi-Fi on here. So I'm gonna press and hold the up button and I'm gonna remove controls. So I'm gonna press this button and you see a little X right by the Wi-Fi. I'm gonna press it and look, it just disappeared. Then I'm gonna hit the back button and uh, I can reorder all these as well, put them in whatever order I want. I just press the start button from here and say I wanna put uh, stealth mode, I press it and then I can put it right here. I just press enter or the, the start button, and now I just put it in a different order. This is the beginning here, so I have my applied ballistics first, then I have my timers, and then it just defaulted other ones. So these are the, well, applied ballistics was always at the front, and then I just put uh, the timer here because uh, I want to, I'll, I'll be using that one for matches, so it's already set at two minutes, so, oops. I just go back, I press this, it's already set for two minutes. And I'll just back out of there, and I can back out of there again. How do you use the hotkeys? Okay, so if I, if I go back here, and I press and hold this, I can go down, keep going down, I believe to start, or system. I'm gonna go down to hotkeys, press that. So okay, now if I hold the start button, Oops, hit back. A dual grid will, will come up. I'm not even sh sure what that is. And then hold the back button and my main watch screen comes up. If I hold the down button, music controls will come up. I can change that. So let me change that now. I'm gonna change that. And I wanna change it to timer. See if I, or timers right there. There we go. So now that one, if I hold this down button right here, it's going to switch to timer. And then uh, if I press the start here and the down button, it'll turn my touch on and off touch screen. If I hit start and up, I got nothing in there right now. And if I hit backlight, which is here and the back button and hold it, the kill switch will come on. And if I hit back, just here and the up button then my clocks will come on so if I go all the way back out of there okay let's say I want my clocks to come up so I press the there's my alarms and or my clocks I got to press the up and the menu and the back button at the same time I'm gonna just hit the back button and hit out of that so if I hit these two the same time my touch screens off Press and hold them again, touch screens on. A lot of people say, well, what do you need a flashlight for? Well, I use this thing all the time. I just press this button twice, and the light comes on. And it is very bright. I use it all the time, even if I'm in a strange house and I have to use the washroom or something and I don't want to turn lights on, press that twice. I can find my way there without disturbing anybody or making tripping on anything or making any noises. I've just used that light a ton of time and I haven't even really used it for hunting season yet, but I know when I do, it'll work fantastic. So basically, that is all for the controls and the hotkeys. So like I say, if you want your, hot, your controls, you just press this. 
then you scroll around until you find the one you want up or down we'll go to timers press that and it's ready to go all I got to do is hit start at the beginning of my stage say I'm shooting a match and away I go I know exactly what how much time I have left and there you go and then again if you want to change your controls and you press and hold the up button then you can add controls reorder controls and remove controls just like that it's that simple so that's basically how you add and remove controls how you use your hotkeys and how you adjust your hotkeys how you set them up how you want and uh, I've had this watch since April and I can't say enough about this watch I really like this watch and I'm really glad I purchased this watch and if anybody's wondering if they should purchase this watch I would say if you can afford it and you're going to get good use out of it like I am yes purchase it hey everyone I hope you like my video on the new tactics pro 7 with ballistics Garmin watch that I have here on how to access the control menu to quickly access watch features and options how to add and remove and uh, so on that I showed in the video so if you like the video please like subscribe hit the notifications button so you don't miss any future content and thanks for watching everybody be safe and take care